All right, we're back with numbers six through 10 of the most profitable DUI projects that you could get started on today. My name is Steve Arthur, and I am a local realtor here with Nationwide Real Estate Executives in the Long Beach area and all of the surrounding cities. So if this is your first time seeing me here on YouTube, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring that bell for future notifications because I do put out videos every single week all about Long Beach, all about the surrounding cities, and all about the things that you want to know about. Where you want to work, where you want to live, where you want to eat, and of course, where you want to play, and also the top 10 DIY projects that get you the best profits. So if you or anyone you know has been thinking about relocating to the Long Beach area or one of the surrounding cities, all you have to do is give me a call, shoot me a text, send an email, or just register on my website. The links are down below and I will personally reach out to you so I can have your back during your move. Now the last video we covered one through five of the most profitable DIY projects and there's some pretty cool projects in there that are relatively easy for you to do and that do get a high yield of return on their investment. So let's jump in with number six right after this. Now number six is an easy one but very few people seem to do it and that is getting rid of the old hardware the old door hinges, the knobs, the handle around your property to make an impressive improvement to the home's value. Now, these items are relatively inexpensive themselves. Now, you can start with some quick set locks, some bronze or brushed nickel uh, hinges and closet door inserts. So that way, you're not replacing the door, you're just classing up the metal. But just remember one thing here. The most value is generated by what people can touch and feel, not things that are behind the wall or a structural thing like a solid core door versus a hollow core door. So you want to focus on what people are touching and feeling and if you can get away with inexpensive upgrades there, you're gonna generate value. And value is what we are all about. Now a whole house will probably cost around $500 to $700 worth of material, but you could be classing up your property with a value of three to $4,000. Now, you're probably thinking, what the hell is that guy smoking out there in California? By changing some locks, I can improve my house that much? By changing some hardware? Remember, it's the feeling that you are going for. That consistent everything looks and feels new. And that's what generates value in real estate. Now, number seven is very basic. And you might be surprised at how many people sell their houses without doing this. And that is upgrading your mulch. Now you can get mulch for about 10 bucks a bag I think at Home Depot, Lowe's, very inexpensive. Get a good set of leather gloves and the work is not hard to do yourself at all. So now you've invested 50 to 75 dollars for this project and BAM! You're probably generating around a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars in market value for the property just by refreshing up the look and feel of the property. Remember psychology. Now moving on to number eight. This is the one that everybody is scared of. Basic electrical. But where can you make money in the electrical? Now we're not talking about go ahead and re-upping the box and making it a 220 amp. We're not talking about that at all. We're talking about getting rid of all those old yellow switches, the old yellow outlets, and making them new and modern and fresh. Now, you don't need to get crazy and get those new screwless uh, uh, plates and everything. They, they're badass, they're cool, but they're about 20 bucks a pop. And I think for this little improvement, you don't need to do that because you're looking to get your best return on your money. But by spending just $1,000 on some switches, outlets, plates, and some basic light fixtures, you can transform your property's value from $4,000 to $5,000 just by that general impression now that you are putting out. So if you are going to be doing this work yourself, just remember safety and electrical is about resistance. So get yourself some good, thick rubber soled shoes, some nice work gloves. But if you're still in doubt, just shut the power off at the box. All right, so you've done a little uh, electrical upgrading now, so you might want to start considering about can lights. 
So that's right, number nine is can lights. Now, I used to always use these big can lights. They had the big towers on the top of them, the transform them. They were just hard, a pain in the butt, and you always created some drywall damage. Well, goodbye to those and hello LED. Now these LED things are awesome. They're easy to install because there's not that big can sticking up there anymore. So you minimize the risk of extra dry drywall damage. But there is one negative factor here. If you do buy an inexpensive, uh, not so much of a known brand, you might actually have to replace the LED portion after a couple of years. Now, that can be really, really frustrating because they're guaranteed for 20 plus years. So just make sure that you get a reputable brand with a good uh, warranty. So you always have a warranty to fall back on. Now, adding six cans in your living room might cost around $300. But you might also generate two to $4,000 of value by transforming the spaciousness and the feel of your property. And if you can install these lights with a dimmer switch, which is recommended, with a 100 watt bulb in there, this way you can really have that flexibility and range for your lighting needs. You know what I'm talking about. So number 10, you, you think you need to paint your property. It's looking old, dirty, and it just looks tired. Well, how about giving it a nice pressure upper with a pressure washer? Now you can rent up about 100 bucks a day and maybe a couple of extra dollars for the detergents and that kind of stuff. So for about $130, you can refresh the look of your home to the tune of an extra $1,000 to $2,000. So just be careful with the windows. You don't want to leave too much water stains on the windows. You get the hard water deposits and you gotta go back and clean all those and creates another problem. So just wipe them down as you go. Overall, you will be surprised on how much you can clean up off the of stucco, brick, driveways, roofing, all with a quick pressure wash. Now all homes over the years will occur dust, dirt, spider webs, debris, this and that, just a lot of dirt. So a good pressure wash every couple years will make a noticeable difference. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful for some of your DIY projects. Now if this is your first time seeing me and you want to see more, go ahead and hit up that subscribe button, ring that bell for future notifications because I do put them out every single week. Okay, so until next time, stay safe, take care. Oh, <laughs> boy, great vision. He is right.